Hey guys, and welcome back to another video in last week's episode. It wasn't last week, it was last three months ago. In the last episode, we worked on the interior and finishing off the buff on this car. I decided that it's now time. We got this car running at least so we could move it around the yard because we had the issues where the car kept cutting out. I'd have to keep tipping fuel down the car before it to run. Oh my God, what the f And that was a massive pain in the ass. So, our new hired help, if you, if you haven't met him or seen him before, Ricky has been helping us with this car because I've been super flat out busy with work all the time and I apologize for not getting episodes out every single week, but we're gonna try our best to do it from now on. Having this car being mobile around the rear yard here makes it really good because I've got to mow the grass constantly and got to move it up and back. I don't want grass growing around it. So I've asked Ricky to figure out why this thing is not running properly and he said that the fuel coming out of the carby or the fuel lines was really disgusting so so we found out that the fuel tank was contaminated with about 15 or probably 30 years worth of crap in it which was causing issues because the quality of the fuel even though we did put some new fuel in it was mixing in with the old stuff so i just said to ricky let's pull the tank clean the whole tank out and we then found that the fuel sender was pretty much completely minced, covered in rust. So Ricky has spent a bit of time cleaning that up. What else did we do? Yeah, so Ricky's fully flushed out the tank, got some morning fresh in there with the high pressure hose and we flushed it as good as we could, put in a new fuel filter, put the tank back in. So after flushing out the tank, we were still having issues starting the car. So Ricky decided to find a good secondhand carby on eBay, which we picked up from old mate Luke in Romsey. We've popped that on now as well. And we found that the car's still And we accidentally put a rock down the spark plug. So now we're gonna do an engine rebuild. Well, actually we're just gonna bar it. Bar our spot. So another thing I forgot to mention is we actually gave the whole engine a degrease and high pressure wash because there was so many spider webs in there and the chance of there being redbacks in the car was really high. So before we actually touched anything in the engine bay, we gave that a pressure wash. So here's some cinematic clips of that now, just filmed on an iPhone. I got a little like stress, I be finessing, no low in my section, built like a blessing. I got a little like stress, I be finessing, got my muscle flexing, my money stretching. Yeah, ain't she sweet, ain't she funny? I love this blue pencil on my hundreds. Life been going how I want it. Yeah. As you can see, the engine bay come up a lot better than it was before. This engine bay here has minimal rust, so we're really, really lucky in that regard. We cannot see any visible rust at all, and most of the red paint is still in very good condition. Some of it does need to cut and polish. You guys asked for it, so I went out and picked up some XF Gear Snowflake rims, which suit the car really well. A lot of you guys hated those Simmons that I had on the other side on here, which I don't really like when they're a different look. But yeah, the snowflakes look really nice. There's the stock rims on the back. But yeah, we got a set of those. I've just put one on there. But we're having this issue where the actual studs are not long enough. I don't know if you can see in there, but the actual studs aren't long enough. So we're going to have to do something with that, which is super annoying. Life been going how I want it. Got a little like stressing. I be finessing. No low in my section. Built like a blessing. Got a little like stressing. Wave. Life been going how I want it. Got my muscle flexing. Okay. Mahogany tent on the skin. I feel like a 10 out of 10. If you hear it, it got in the plan. If not, that somebody been watching the kid. I made it out of a jam. I got some ribbons in front of me blocking you stuck watching life in the stands i know that you sink the drink I'm so after attempting to try and get this car running we have run into an issue where ricky thinks we may have dropped a rock or something small down into the engine because when we do have it running even if it's for the slightest amount of time we're hearing like this terrible knocking sound and yeah we could be having to either rebuild this thing or just unfortunately doing a barrel swap <laughs> or I don't know, we'll see how we go. But yeah, so that was an epic fail, but at least the tank's cleaned out. Um, the engine bay is looking a lot fresher than it was before. 
The interior hasn't been finished yet, but another really good thing has happened, which I'll show you guys. You remember in my last video how I kept jumping in the passenger door? Check this out. So Ricky and Thomas have actually spent a couple of hours replacing the door handles. So I bought these off eBay. Um, how much were they for the set? I think it was 80 bucks for the set. And, oh, look at that. It just opens so beautifully now. So I can get in and out the passenger door, uh, the driver's door. The back one's not as tight, but that works really good. So yeah, these were horrible before. So now I can get in there and finish that into interior detail. That will hopefully be in the next video. If you guys have any ideas of what this knocking sound could be, you may need to put some start your bastard down the thing to give you guys a listen to what it sounds like. So this issue happened straight after Ricky has changed the spark plugs. We're not sure, it could be something else, but it happened after we put new spark plugs in it. Really weird, he didn't actually see anything fall down in there, did you? No. No. So it could be something else knocking. Um, I did buy another fuel pump because initially I thought I wasn't getting fuel from the fuel pump, but yeah, does not sound good. I'm gonna try and turn it over now with no fuel in it. So if you have trouble starting your car, you can buy this stuff here, start your bastard. It's got like ether in it, which apparently ignites at lower temperatures than fuel. So yeah, spray that in. Yep. Yep. I shit myself because once I nearly caught on fire. So we're putting some now into a bottle just to make it more controlled as we tip it in. But if you leave petrol in a plastic bottle too long, it actually eats away at the plastic bottle. I'll blow myself up on camera. Famous last words. Yep, I just tipped it all over the engine as well, just for extra. Very good. Oi, big black smoke. She wants to go. Just bounce on that accelerator, baby. It's as good as we're gonna get. Yeah, so if you guys have any idea what that could be, you can't really tell because it's not running very long. We're having some issues here. Maybe we should just get rid of this engine. And I was thinking maybe a supercharged coyote. Something a little bit more reliable. <laughs> no one anyway, we'll see you guys. See you guys in the next episode. And let us know what you think we should do with this car.